any loss they will incur. Babayaran natin. Kung malugi sila, attributable to the government, what animal is that? It is not stated in the contract. Magbayad tayo. Ang rates, they control the rates. It's, it is not with us. At yung CIF nila, corporate income tax, ipapasa nila to the consumers. Believe naman talaga sa mga bitoka nito. Any interference by government that would create an, an aberration sa kanilang ano. Even if it's a road right away, if, it's a, if we have to dig there because it, uh, it is needed by the infrastructure of the country. Tapos nabutas mo yan, you will pay anak, sabi ko. Hindi na talaga ito. Hindi ko ito masikmura. Yung income tax ni na putang ina tayo ang magbayad. Wala, wala, wala ako nakitang putang inang kahiyaan na sanit ngayon ko. Ikaw na ang magbabayad sa kita nila. Ikaw pa ang wala kang choice sa ah, rates. Now we paid earlier 3 million. 3 billion. 3 billion. Uh, anong, anong interruption yun? Basta medyo nalugo sila. Bayad tayo 3 billion. Ngayon na naman, sa panahon ko, may 7 billion. Piko putang ina ninyo. Ah! Nandito sa nandoon si... Tito, sabi ko, Senate President, you listen. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, nagduda ako nito noong nagkaroon ng water crisis sometime in April. Walang ligo yung mga tao. Nakihirap talaga. But somebody told me na may tubig. Kaya sabi ko, sigurado ka? Sabi, sigurado ako. Kagoberno. Sabi ko, so I had to make sure. Tinawagan ko ang MWS. MWSS. Walang tubig, sir. Walang tubig, sir. Walang, walang nag-aagas. There's no water flowing. Yung bisaya niyan. Tapos sabi ko, I took a gamble. Tinawagan ko na. Sabi ko, putang ina ninyo. Eh, kung may tubig, sabi ng taga-gobyerno, bakit hindi ko paniwalaan. Putang ina ninyo, pagbukas pagdating ko, pag walang nakatubig na lumalawas yung puking, kumuton ko na inyong naong, kumuton is ganunin mo. Lamukosin. Oh, lamuto ko, lamutakin ko yung muka ninyo yan, isa-isa. And I was really dead set in doing it. Mayroon ang papaya. Pagdating ko, may tubig na putang ina niya. So, bakit ito? Oh, oh, oh. So, para magtanong-tanong niya sila sa inyo, that started my curiosity. Anong racket ito na paitiisin mo ang Pilipino na walang tubig? Ang mga babae nating mga muina, wala na maglapit sa... Nalitse talaga ako na itong putang ina, sabi ko, mga yawa. Well, may tubig. So that started my quest for why. Ang nangyari nito, there's a contract. It was signed, uh, palabas na si Corey Ramos. And it traverses to to administration. Kay Ramos pati kay Gloria. I'm not saying that the, they are uh, guilty of something. No, no, far from, far from. I'm just saying, I'm just stating to you the truth. Ang contract with Manila Gas, I suppose that, uh, Manila Water, I, su I suppose that it's the same with Manila 
Because ito yung western part of the Manila went to Manila Gas Ayala. Di po dito kay Pangilinan ang sa eastern side. Ang masakit talaga to. Tingnan ko, sabihin ko sa iyo, masakit talaga. And you can kill somebody for it. Ang contract, the water there was not in the contract itself. The water a natural resource of any country, ang nakalagay doon, it would be treated as a commodity. Itong, this, itong, itong Manila, pati itong Manila water, distributor ito sila, atin yung tubig, that is part of the patrimony of the nation. Ngayon, they, they entered into a contract. I do not know who was the lawyer. Kaya ako binoko si Frank. Eh. Tapos may text siya kagabi. Sabi niya, you tell Rodi, I am not a part of it. Kasi I remember when I started to tatanong-tanong na ako about water. Sabi niya, I, I don't know, but I'm sure Drillon said this. Uh, Sabi mo kay Rudy, magdandahan siya because we might end up paying billions in damages. Kaya sinagot ko siya, Sinetod Ruin, how dare to you to permit to you telling me I cannot review the contract. I will review the, I will go on and review the contract because I have to know what is what's screwing the people here? Bakit may tubig tapos wala may tubig? So, somebody must be in my <coughs> grabe pa sa presidente. Alam mo in that contract sure na basa mo. Our country surrendered everything to Manila Water and to Manila everything including the sovereignty of kasi nakalagay doon in interpreting this contract pero din ng republic of the philippines eh. sabi lang the philippine government shall see to it that uh, the operation sa distribution uh, will be uh, secured, blah, 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 blah. And any uh, interruption caused by the by a disturbance of government and the corresponding loss that would be created out of uh, a malfunction or whatever, damage to their... Sila ang distributor eh. Magbayad tayo any loss or the losses that uh, they will incur. Babayaran natin. Anak na. Kung malugi sila attributable to the government, what animal is that? It is not stated in the contract. Magbayad tayo. We pay. Malugo sila for ano eh. And that contract was in 1997. It was renewed in... Uh, original contract is 1937. Original contract, contract is uh, 1993. Ah, uh, 93? Uh, then it was renewed very much earlier in 19... Uh, 2009. 2009. Lo long, long before the... Hindi pa mag-expire. About seven years before, nirenew na nila at they were granted an extension panahon ni Gloria. Ngayon ito, ang rates, they control the rates. It's, it is not with us. At yung CIF nila, Corporate Income Tax, ipapasa nila to the consumers. 
believe naman talaga sa mga bitoka nito. Tapos, uh, meron pa. Uh, uh, itong uh, pag-increase, itong increase sa prices. We have na nothing there. Kung gusto na increase, increase. Kung gusto na i-decrease, decrease. Anak ka na. We, uh, yeah, that's the word. Any interference, that's the word. Any interference by government that would create an, an aberration sa kanilang ano. Even if it's a road right away, if it's a, if we have to dig there because it, uh, it is needed by the infrastructure of the country. Tapos na butas mo yan, you will pay anak, sabi ko. Hindi na talaga ito. Hindi ko ito masikmura. Uh, meron pa. O, all in favor. Basta yan isa. We have lost the sovereignty. We bargain it away. Gusto kong malaman kung sino yung mga abogado. Pero ako nagduda ako. But he sent a text to Bingbong. Binasa niya kagabi sa akin. Sabi doon, Bimo kay Rudy, wala akong, wala na ako sa Akra yung panahon na yun. Akra is in law. But I am not saying that Akra is in law. At, at least, uh, ano, ano. hindi mo man maalaman kung sino yung abogado. Sisilipin ko muna talaga kung yun ang ano. Uh, they have the control of the water. And uh, yun yung it will end ang contract nila uh, 2037. 2037. 2037. Ang extension. Sabi ko ito, sabi ko sa ano, sa cabinet kami, sabi ko, siyempre, siyempre nagalit ako. Oh, puta na. Kalukuhan to. So, sabi ko, because uh, pagka nalugi sila, hindi tayo magbayad. Now, we paid earlier 3 million. Billion. 3 billion. 3 billion. Uh, anong, anong interruption yun? Basta medyo nalugi sila. Bayad tayo 3 billion. Ngayon na naman, sa panahon ko, may 7 billion. Piko, putang ina ninyo. Ah, fuck you. Sabi na, ano, we will face the, para, alam mo kasi, maging pariya ka sa internasya. Alam mo itong mga, itong mga mayaman sa Indonesia, Malaysia, Pilipinas, parang nagkorpo yan sila. Only not individually, but our corporations. They have the interlocking uh, directors dito, pati doon. Uh, Mahirap yan. Ako sabi ko, mahirap yan. Pero pang dalawa na escape my mind sa, sa kabisi ko. But there's another one. Sa rates, yung losses, uh, you have to bear it, you have to pay for the losses. Then, yung income tax nila, putang ina tayo ang magbayad. Wala Wala akong nakitang putang inang kahiyaan na susanit ngayon ko. Ikaw na ang magbabayad sa kita nila. Ikaw pa ang... Wala kang choice sa rates. Sabi ko, alam mo, if you look at the law, maybe, mabali ako. But this is a classic case of economic blunder. Wala lang nakasilip nito. Because, you know, I can assume that money really talks. Sabihin ni Ayala, wala. Huwag magkumpulahin, let's check up. Pati kayo, don't fuck with me. I know you. Nilaro ninyo yung Pilipino sa pera. 
I have ego, I will pursue this. If this is the only thing that I can achieve in this, in my administration, ito na lang. Tibrahim Berbirahin ko talaga, ito na lang yung blunder. Nakita ko yung statement, statement nila ngayon. We are ready to talk to the administration, the incumbent, that this is hot, this happened not during their time. No, probably they may not have. They might have a little, not because it was not during the time that this contract was signed. But economic sabotage. The problem is this, Andre. How do we recover? Ito pang isa. Yung sa bill niyo, all of you. Ay to isa. Kuko ako na. I remember now. Ang 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 itong billing natin meron yan for the yung treatment of water. May may nisisinisingle tayo water treatment fees. Alam ba niyo ni kahit isang boating kriolin walang binuhos yan para sa tubig. Para luminis, hindi na bali tayo mamatay. And to think, kanina sabi nila na ano, yung abogado nila, sabi na, sabi mo naman kay Rudy, total, pag-usapan na lang, east to west, pinaghati, total, ito lang naman ang tinamaan. We, we can always, no, adjust the rates, ano, yung mga, Paano na yung parang kang gago? Now, yung, probably over the years we can reduce o tapos pabawain. Sabi ko, how can that be? How many years na? So, sabi mo, ang tinamaan lang ang west, pati ang east sa Manila, Metro Manila. He said, do not fuck me. When we paid for your corporate income tax. Kasi sinalo ng ano eh. So, kung sinalo natin, pera natin ang binayad. It is as if. Ngayon, ang pera yan, hindi ng pera ng Metro Manila, nor of the East or of the West. It is money of the entire Republic of the Philippines. Kaya sila ang constituents ko. Pera ng gobyerno yung binayad namin sa income tax ninyo. How can it be now na sabihin mo Maynila lang ang tinamaan? Because when we, we paid for your taxes, tinamaan na kami. Sabi ko, well, there's always a time for everything. But the Bible says, There is a time to be comfortable with what you have, stolen money. There is a time to wallow in filth, in riches. But there is always a time for reckoning, to explain to the people how it came about. Talagang yayariin ko sila dito. And, you know, the lawyers, they knew that when they were crafting the contract, it was actually... Lahat ng provision at that time and until now, at that time and now, present, they knew that it was all in a violation of law, a diminution of our sovereignty, that we have to pay for their losses, that, <laughs> that's anti-graph. Kaya pag sabay-sabayin mo, that the money that we have to absorb their... Uh, We have to pay for their income tax. At the beginning, Adre, poor my poor my abogado matay dito. Right at the start, it was a contract that was all in contravention of the anti-graft law. So it could be now over a period of time that's plunder. Kung isa dalawa okay lang. Or is that the law of transaction? Could not be ganong kalaki, even if the if it is that in magnitude. 
but over a period of time for so many years, tapos ngayon, kolektahan ako ng 7 million. Sabi ko, ah, alam mo sana yan, ha? Manuwala ka. Kasi nga, I'm not satisfied. I'm really pissed off with the services of the Tung cellphone. The, we were uh, harping on uh, a new player. So, a new player, gusto ng new player, bigyan sila ng mga incentives. Ang iniingya niya yung, alam mo, itong airwaves, it's a mystery. There's always that line that is very good. So, young air, airwaves, it is given by government free. Hindi ko rin alam yan until na dumating sa akin. Ngayon, sabi ko na na itong sila Ayala, pati si... Same player. Same player. <laughs> Pangilinan. Okay. Oh, same player. Sabi ko, isa uli ninyo yung airline. Alam mo ang sagot sa akin? Okay, kami. Ano kami sa sa cabinet meeting. Pabayarin daw ako. Sabi ni Secretary Rio ng DCTI. Kanya magbayad daw ako ng 2 billion putang ina. <laughs> Sabi ko kay naggalit ako kay tumindi ako si tawagan mo yang putang ina mo. Letseng Ayala pati. Isa uli nila yan. Bigyan ko sila ng 48 hours, 2 days. Pag hindi nila sinauli yung putang ina, pupuntahan ko sila sa opisina. Ako ang pupunta sa opisina nila. Kinabukasan, maagang maaga, sabong tawag. Sir, isa uli daw nila. Itong inang baya na to. Ayawang ko lang kung sinong susunod na presidente nito. Marami siyang problema. Pero ito, tatapusin ko to. Tatapusin ko talaga itong dalawa. Kung, ito, kung hindi ko ito matapos sa magandang paraan, itimingin ko na lang dyan sa opisina nila. Ilak ko, tapos sunugin ko yung building nila. Buhusan ko. Oh, I will lock the... Madali lang man yan. And so, I go to prison. Katanda-tanda ko na... No, at my age, death is the least of my concern. You do not ask me, na, are you well? Are you in good health? Ang sagot ko, Adrian, may tatay ka ba, nanay ka? Noong 74 sila, okay sila? <laughs> Kahit ikuraw, may sakit na gano'n. Talagang may sakit ako. May sakit ako ng dibdib ko. Pero ito, hindi ko sila papalusot. Hindi ko sila papalusot. Dalhin ko ito sa Congress. I have to talk to the Filipino people. Hindi nila pinapublish eh. Selected lang. Hindi na papublish. Hindi na nalagay sa news. Wala. Kinukontrol nila yung damage. Tapos, ako naman, hindi nagpapaimportansya. But maybe because I, I was the one who was really angry and also because I'm the number one worker of government. Sige sila, ano, padala kung sino ang makausap. At huwag kayong magtawag-tawag po lapit-lapit sa akin po tabukas, i-file ko yan <laughs> diritso na. You know what? If I file the case, I'll just state there that they have been in operation for so, this so many years. That all of the contracts there, all of the provisions were complied with. Pag na-comply, kinumply na yun lahat yung uh, increases. Uh, pasok na ang anti-graph load yan. So, yun na lang akin. That's my evidence. I just executed an affidavit, probably one of the guys there, sa Suljen, file na. Para sa akin yun na. Uh, I could establish a prima facie case. Then I will file plunder. Ang plunder, Adre, Mr. Ayala, no bail yan. 
Gusto ko makita na bilyonaryo na makulong.